Have you ever lost someone important in your life? Well, that's exactly what happens with Willow Chance. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, sad, funny, and beautiful book for you guys today. Counting by Seven by Holy Goldberg Sloan, and it says, if you're lost, you might need to swim against the tide. It's a New York Times bestseller, and on the cover we see a red fish that is different from all the other green fish that is going against the tide, against the way in which all the other fish are going with. Well, let's get right on to it. Willow Chance is a genius. Everything interests her, and she can observe, analyze, read things in incredible speed. And she's only in the first year of middle school, and she can ace all the tests, SAT, everything, in less than 30 minutes. Whoa, that's a girl with talent, if you know what I mean. But Willow is accused of cheating by her principal. Then, she is sent to be counseled by a man named the Del Duke, a man who enjoys hamburgers and meat. And then a devastating thing happens. Her parents die of a tragic accident. Then, she is devastated. She is not her old self for a long time. She used to be a friendly, perky girl. Well, not with not with the most friends, of course. But she ha now has a new friend in high school who is named Maya or something like that. And she is Vietn Vietnam. And, well, she they love each other. And together, they, they have to make a plan. Because Willow Chance will be adopted by another family, and probably not a very loving one as this. And our dear Maya, she says, she says she takes our dear Willow and adopts her, well, temporarily with her mother, who is actually quite kind-hearted. And together, Willow, with her state of depression, and my Mia, and her brother, who is quite a juvenile delinquent, they together live in a tiny garage. Days and weeks passed. They, well, their fake address is actually Del Duke's house. And together, on the first day that the social co-worker comes to see the house, they clean it up and make it look like a home. And Willow Chance. Willow Chance looks at the garden and th looks at the lot. And it's covered with red lava rock. And she wants to make a garden there. And so they do. They make a garden after lots of bad things happen, of course, in the middle. But she manages to plant a couple of sunflowers there. But that was not all. Their parents' old friend, who loved Willow as he, she were her, her their own child, had hundreds of plants of every and exotic kind, and they were and they came and all those plants came and they were planted, rooted in a couple hours, and soon when the others came, they found a blooming, beautiful forest. Del Duke, the fat man who had no sense of responsibility, had changed. He had lost a lot of pounds. He was responsible. And he was happy with his little group of friends. Patty, the one who is Maya or Mia's mother. And she is absolutely great. And together they are making a happy family. And in the end... Would our dear Willow Chance get a happy ending? Well, I'll just say this, starts with a tragedy, 
but tragedy, but ends with a perfect little happy end. It is a great book. And many people want to understand if you have lost someone important to yourself, that depression, that grief that stretches through your veins, that makes you think that you can't do anything anymore, that you want to go with them, you want to die. That's the first things that happen. But like Will or Chance, you have to get out of it. Because that kind of grief can consume you. And then when it does, you know what it does. Great book. And you you really could understand Will or Chance. And maybe if you're in a similar situation, you could break out of it like she did. Great book and must read. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester. As I said, you can understand Willow Chance a little bit, even though she is an all-time nerd.